At 13% in 2019, Ghana's tax-to-GDP ratio remains far below the government's target of 20% by 2023. At a public financial management tax conference, speakers attributed it to the recessive nature of the country's tax system. The Public Financial Management Tax Africa Network Conference analyzed the country's tax revenue over the past 20 years. The difference between the VAT on input and the VAT on output is approximately 3%. But remember, you are not giving, the wholesaler is now in the middle, and you are not giving a tax credit. So if it sells to somebody who, a service provider who is registered at the end, they will pass on the cost. So your margin of 3% doesn't hold. Any policy that disturbs, you know, the right to input tax credit, because VAT is not a tax on business. VAT is a tax on the consumer. So you hurt both business and the consumer. I think that sensitization, education, and guidance for people to comply with the law is better than amending it to suit them, which is what has been happening with the VAT flat rate. When we started, it was good for retailers because of record-keeping challenges. But if it is extended to include manufacturers... There were also concerns that the inability of the government to tackle the challenges will encourage instability, poor infrastructure development and poor economic growth. The conversation about the, what, is, what, what constitutes a levy and what constitutes a tax must be put to bed. It shouldn't be swept under the carpet of it being a technical conversation. Initially, they said it, won't, it, it should be what all, uh, it should embrace all sectors of the business uh, community. So we are saying that why should there be introduction of VAT thresholds? To me, the general principle for even setting a threshold to be, it should be at a point where the cost of collection are balanced against the revenue loss. The event was on the theme, 20 years of VAT, the good, the bad, and the ugly.